Hi world, it's about 8.15 in the morning. It's the 27th of January, 2014. Today being one of the very few days in this coming week that isn't a void moon, I'm sure you've all got lots of things today to be getting on with, so I'll keep it brief. I've certainly got a hell of a lot to do. Today's a good day for getting things done. I've got, I'm gonna be announcing loads and loads of gigs later today over the next eight to 12 weeks, I'm, I'm setting up a lot of tours and lectures, building up to some big ones. I'm starting off small in places like Dorchester and Lempster in England, but I've also got two, three day big gigs in central London coming up over the coming hmm, six to eight weeks. And that's only the prelude to another set of lectures, uh, readings and workshops in Vienna, uh, Bermuda, uh, New York, Washington and Montreal and all of this will be taking place before the middle of May of this year. Details will be on my website soon and I'll be in touch with all my regular clients in those areas. Enough about me, although details on request. What's going on out there? Listen, we, we could, I could spend time talking about the day by day situation but as I said yesterday in, in my, um, or the day before whenever it was, in my week ahead video, this week's it's like everyone's sort of seeing everything going on, but everyone's sort of got clean film around them. Everything's skidding around. There's, there's no one attaching significance or importance to anything, no matter how big what is going on. Um, therefore, I think I need to look at the big picture. And the bigger picture still is the finale, the upcoming finale of the Uranus-Pluto square. <clears throat> the Uranus-Pluto square it's been going on for about three or four years. Pluto in Capricorn, forcing us into changing the way we work at and exist with larger group structures, whether they are governments, religions, or corporates. Uranus in Aries, it's five years in now, four or five years in of a seven to eight year transit, and it's telling us to revolutionize our concepts and our attitudes about individuality. When Uranus and Pluto are squaring each other, we're going to see problems where the rights of the individual clash with the needs of the larger groups. And we can do this at the individual level within the, con uh, within the framework of family or within the framework of employer, employee work, or country to country, as is seen perhaps in Europe in recent days. This is only the start of what's happening in Europe. You can be sure but over the coming few weeks, the ante is going to be escalated. Certainly with the Spanish elections coming later this year, an anti-austerity party there, Pandema, something like that, is really growing very fast, so watch this space. And you are going to see this taking off in Europe. Um, when I hear the oligarchs in Brussels and Berlin saying that this, this process of global and European unification and monification is, is irreversible, I think, yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's all very well if all the leaders and all the bankers and all, all the corporate leaders want things to be one way, but if the vast majority of the people don't, well, there we have a dichotomy, don't we? So, thing is, this has been building now for three or four years. And for many people, the Grand Cross in over the majority of 2014 um, actualized things. It turns things from latent into potent. And for many people, 2014 was a crap year. And for many of those people, I'm still saying, well, it's still going on. We're still in 2014, metaphorically speaking. And the full moon on the 5th of January this year was a trigger point. It, it, it finalised things. That's it now. Choices have been made at some level or another. And the thing is, now we're heading into a short-term period of concentrated potential for action. It is not yet. We're in a Mercury retrograde and nothing's going to come out of the mix yet. There's no sense, or common or otherwise, of, of what will emerge by the time we're into the end of February and the start of March. But it is as we get into the start of March that you are going to see the headless chickens, the, the speedy Gonzales, that just, it's gonna be madness, really. I mean, global as well. It's to do with the political and the economic. We get the Mars-Uranus conjunction, second week of March. 
15 degrees of Aries. That's the one. That's the one that's going to create irreversible actions. Shortly after that, it's a total eclipse of the moon in Libra. And that effectively closes down, not just the Grand Cross, not just the last three or four years, but I think effectively the whole of the Uranus-Pluto square. And by then, we'll know if the experiments of the recent years have worked. But honestly, folks, global capitalism on a large scale, faceless corporate perspective. Bye. Catch you later.